Bangalore's tactical fires a high-velocity smoke canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. Her passive double time allows it to move faster for a brief time while taking fire. And her ultimate will call an artillery strike that will slowly creep across the landscape. Bloodhound's tactical Eye of the Allfather briefly reveals enemies, traps and clues through all structures in front of you. With Tracker, you are able to see markers left by enemies after they perform various actions like jumping, ziplining or reloading their gun. And Bloodhound's ultimate, called Beast of the Hunt, enhances your senses, allows you to see cold tracks and move faster. Downing opponents will extend the duration of Beast of the Hunt by 5 to 15 seconds, depending on the remaining duration of the ability. Dome of Protection allows Gibraltar to deploy a dome shield that blocks incoming and outgoing attacks. His passive Gun Shield deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire. And with his ultimate called Defensive Bombardment, Gibraltar can call in a concentrated mortar strike on a marked position. Lifeline's tactical Dog Heal Drone automatically heals legends near it over time. A passive called Combat Revive deploys Doc to revive teammates, leaving Lifeline free to defend. And her ultimate care package allows Lifeline to call in a drop pod full of high quality gear. This tactical grappling hook allows Pathfinder to grapple and get to out of reach places quickly. With insider knowledge, Pathfinder can scan survey beacons to reduce the cooldown of zipline gun. And with that, his ultimate zipline gun, which creates a zipline for everyone to use. Rave's tactical called Into the Void allows her to reposition quickly through the safety of void space, avoiding all damage. With voices from the void, a voice will warn Rave when danger approaches. And her ultimate dimensional rift allows her to link two portals together that can be used by anyone. With Caustic's tactical you can place up to 6 canisters of deadly Nox gas that will release when shot or triggered by enemies. His passive Nox vision highlights enemies inside your gas screen. And his ultimate Nox Gas Grenade lasts 15 seconds and has a wider area of effect than his gas traps. Mirage's tactical Psyche Out sends out a holographic decoy to confuse the enemy. When used, a hologram duplicate of Mirage is sent in a straight line to wherever the real Mirage targeted. Upon reaching the target location, the decoy stands still and performs the inspect weapon animation unless the player takes control of it. His passive called Now You See Me cloaks him automatically when using respawn beacons, reviving teammates and also spawns a decoy that cloaks him when downed. And his ultimate Life of the Party deploys a team of controllable decoys to distract enemies. Octane comes with the tactical ability called Stim. For 6 seconds, normal movement will be 30% faster, while sprinting will be 40% faster. His passive ability Swiftman automatically restores health over time. And his ultimate ability Launchpad, which is usable every 1.5 minutes, deploys a jump pad that catapults anyone through the air.
Watson's tactical ability lets you create electrified fences by connecting nodes. These fences damage and slow enemies. Her passive ability Spark of Genius restores her shields over time, after avoiding damage for 6 seconds. And Ultimate Accelerants fully charge her ultimate and she can carry more ultimate accelerants. Every 3 minutes Watson can use her ultimate ability called Interception Pylon. You can place an electrified pylon that destroys incoming ordnance and repairs damaged shields. Standing near pylons boosts Watson's tactical recharge rate. The pylon lasts for 90 seconds, has 150 health and recharges around 2 shields per second. Crypto's tactical ability deploys an aerial drone. It has a 40 second cooldown if destroyed and the drone can be deployed and flown up to 200 meters. Crypto can recall the drone at any time. His passive ability called Neuralink lets you see what the surveillance drone detects up to a 30 meter radius. With his ultimate ability Drone EMP you can charge up an EMP blast from your drone. Deals 50 damage, slows players and disables traps with a charge time of 3 minutes. With Revenant's tactical ability you can throw a device that deals damage and disables enemy abilities for 15 seconds. His passive called Stalker lets you crouch walk faster and you can climb walls higher. With his ultimate called Death Totem, you will be able to drop a totem that protects users from death. Instead of getting killed or downed, you will return to the totem. Death Totem has a charge time of 3 minutes. Loba's tactical ability allows you to teleport to hard to reach places or escape trouble quickly by throwing your jump drive bracelet. With her passive called Eye for Quality, you can see nearby epic and legendary loot through walls. Her ultimate called Black Market Boutique allows you to place a portable device that allows you to teleport nearby loot to your inventory. Each friendly or enemy legend can take up to two items. Rampart's tactical ability allows you to build a crouch cover wall which deploys a full cover and wall that blocks incoming shots and amps outgoing shots. Her passive called Modded Loader gives you an increased magazine and heat capacity and faster reloads and recharges when using LMGs and the minigun. Her ultimate ability Emplaced Minigun Sheila lets you place a mounted machine gun that anyone can use. High ammo capacity but a long reload time. Sheila has 350 health, a magazine size of 150 and infinite reserve ammo. Sheila has a recharge time of 2 minutes. Horizon's tactical ability allows you to lift players upward and boosting them outward when they exit. Her passive called Spacewalk allows you to increase air control and reduce fall impacts. Her ultimate black hole lets you deploy Newt to create a micro black hole that pulls players in towards it. It lasts 12 seconds and enemies are highlighted if their position is behind the Newt. It takes 3 minutes to recharge black hole. Fuse's tactical ability is called Knuckle Cluster and allows you to launch a cluster bomb that continuously expels airburst explosives on impact. His passive ability Grenadier allows you to stack an extra grenade per inventory slot. Fire grenades farther, faster and more accurately. His ultimate called Mother Load launches a bombardment that encircles a target in a wall of flames. 
It can be fired up to 200 meters and has a charge time of 2 minutes. No legend has a stronger tie to the legacy of the frontier than Kairi Imahara. Call sign. Valkyrie's tactical ability Missile Swarm fires a swarm of mini rockets that damage and disorient enemies. Her passive called VTOL Jets allows you to press the jump key while in the air to engage jetpack. The maximum use duration is 7 seconds and fuel will begin to refill 8 seconds after the last jetpack use. Her ultimate ability Skyward Dive allows you to launch into the air and skydive. Teammates can interact with Valkyrie to join the launch. It launches you 180 meters into the air and enter a skydive after, similar to using a jump tower. Seer's tactical ability called Focus of Attention summons micro drones to emit a delayed blast that goes through walls, interrupting and revealing enemies. His passive Heartseeker allows you to hear and visualize the heartbeats of enemies within 75 meters when aiming down sights. His ultimate Exhibit creates a spear of microdrones that reveal the location of enemies moving quickly or firing their weapons within. It lasts 30 seconds and it takes 1.5 minutes to recharge. Ash's tactical arc snare allows her to throw a spinning snare that damages and tethers the first enemy who gets too close. Her passive called Marked for Death allows her to see the location of death boxes on her map and mark surviving attackers. And her ultimate Face Breach allows Ash to tear open a one-way portal to a targeted location. Maggie's tactical riot drill allows her to fire a drill that attaches to an obstacle and burns enemies on the other side. With her passive Warlord's Ire, enemies you have damaged will be temporarily highlighted and you can move faster with shotguns. And her ultimate called Wrecking Ball throws a ball that releases speed boosting pads and detonates near enemies.